What is going on, Logic Pro users? I'm here with three tips. 10.5 update of Logic Pro is incredible, efficient, and effective. And I want to show you three tips to get your drums going right away. All right, I'm going to show you how to be efficient with them. I'm going to show you all the cool new features, dragging and dropping, dee 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 dee, da 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 da. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, definitely give some love, so, show some love so we can get more of this information out to people. Um, you're going to also get the Radiant Podcast, over 80 episodes of industry, industry professionals talking music, business, publishing, mastering, sync, whatever, right? Uh, mixing and mastering, production, composition, that's what we're all about. I'm going to show you some cool stuff with Logic Pro 10. 0.5.1 and uh, no this is not going to have a bunch of crazy cute little jump cuts and youtuber stuff it's just going to be me in the music industry talking about music stuff so let's get right into it i'm going to go to desktop let's get into logic as we get to logic i want to show you some uh my first tip all right my first tip is use the bookmarks tab in the file manager for organizing all your all your uh, samples and I'll show you exactly what that is so basically hit F on your keyboard when you hit F you're gonna see your files on your computer you can go to any file let's say you have your samples somewhere let's just uh, type in or search for samples whatever your folder is called grab that samples folder go to the wheel down here add bookmark I've already bookmarked this but you can um, just go here and it'll say add bookmark okay you add bookmark when you go to the bookmark tab you will then see your samples and there you go everything organized I could come in I can go I want my pop kit I want to go in here and find a you know a drum loop at 105 or around there right and just start looking and bam you know so it's very quick very simple I can go 96 BPM drag it in um, hit F again hide the files and I got a drum loop here that's a little over hold down option and you're gonna get the time stretch algorithm bam I'm gonna time stretch it to the, the click and let's hear this real quick So there you go, very fast, very efficient, and um, hitting F every time you're going to get your drums again. That bookmark tab, I've bookmarked all my favorite stuff. Got my projects, my library in sync, stuff I write for library in sync, samples, and I can just double click on that and I can find any sample kit or drums. Maybe you want to do it by kicks, by snares, by hi hats. It doesn't matter. This is very much like an FL Studio workflow where you can go in, you can preview by just clicking down, then you can drag and drop, and that is fast. All right. So that is my first tip. Second tip, use splice. Don't be afraid to use splice for drum sounds, for chops, for reverse reverbs, for effects. And if you're not awesome at music production or writing or chords or anything like that, use melody loops. Don't have any shame in it. Who cares? Just make great music. Have fun with it, right? I don't know why everybody's so caught up in like, oh, what are you using? If you're cheating, who gives a shit? All right. Like truly, who cares? So let's go in, and uh, the reason I use Splice is because it has drag and drop compatibility with the sampler, with the drum machine designer, and it's incredible, right? So if I want a kick drum, go through my kicks. I know you're probably hearing a flam right now. I have my mic and my, um, my sound going, but uh, let's say I like this kick. This one, right? Drag it in. I can hold, and then I can see quick sampler original. I'm just going to go original. It's just going to give me a sampler of that kick drum. Now... I'm going to mute my microphone and let you hear the kick drum and show you how easy it is to just get a little program beat going. That right there should give you enough reason to start using Splice, right? It's just drag and drop. It's very easy. Um, it's going to speed up your workflow like crazy. Use this tip. It's insane. Splice is awesome for just organizing, right? And new kits are always coming out, and I love that, right? And you can just see all of them right here, and you can see different styles, and you can go to drums, and you can filter, and it's just organized, and I like that. So use Splice. It's going to speed up your workflow. Now, tip number three. 
and this is uh this is definitely something that um that I love about uh about Logic Pro and the update is okay, let's say I want to do an 808 pattern. If you bring in your 808 from let's say like I got trap kits in here somewhere. So go to trap kits, go to like uh you know, wheezy out of here kit, right? Find an 808, drag it in, and I usually go to the original quick sampler. Um, as long as I know that this is tuned to C, okay. If you don't know the tuning of the of the 808, then that's gonna it's gonna mess you up. But if you do, and you know it's just C, the root key C. If you know it's a D, you can just change it right here, right? So very very simple, straightforward there. But what you want to do is you want to go to mono, usually with an 808. I don't want to play polyphony with an 808, meaning more notes at at a time, like more than one. And then I also have a glide right here, so I can set the glide, so you get the bends, right? Pretty dope. Love the fact that you can do that, and uh, you could do one shot where you just play it one shot. You could do classic where, um, as long as you're holding the key, the sample's gonna sound okay. And that's just incredible. Like for for programming 808s, it's this is a game changer in Logic. Just being able to drag them in and be able to have them pitched across the keyboard, um, do glide really quickly, and you know create a MIDI region and just start drawing in or playing on your keyboard your 808 pattern. I, I just think that's so cool. So. That is a great workflow enhancement, and um, let's just like put down a little 808 with a little glide. I don't know, it's a weird beat to put an 808 to, but um, it could definitely work. Uh, I don't have an 808 in mind or a pattern in mind, but you get the point. You can hear the bends, you can exchange the time, all that stuff. You can do all sorts of cool stuff, and I just love that. Great workflow in Logic Pro. So if you want a longer glide, boom, very easy. All right, so that's Portamento. Um, so there you go. Those are the three tips. Hopefully this is helpful. Hopefully it gets you moving a lot quicker um, using the I'm going to go back through these tips real quick. So if you hit F, you're going to get into your file manager and you use the bookmarks to organize your samples. You can bookmark by going down to this little scroll wheel at the bottom gear wheel, whatever you want to call it, and you can bookmark the tab. So let's say if I searched, you know, um, drums and I had a folder of drums, I could click on that folder. I can then go to the scroll wheel and I can hit a uh, new new um, bookmark. Now within the bookmarks file, I'm going to see everything broken down my folder. So say this was the drums folder. Now I have everything right here. Bam. Perfect. Tip number two, use Splice. Splice is awesome. It's got drag and drop uh, capabilities with the drum machine. It's got drag and drop with the, uh, with the quick sampler, with everything. So when you use Splice, you can easily just pull samples in. And I think that that's an incredible workflow for um, Logic. So just pulling your samples in, being able to search, being able to organize through Splice, incredible, right? You got genres, you got your packs that you might know. So let's say I'm making a pop track. I just go to my pop, got my packs, and I can check out vocals or synths or whatever. I love the organizational capabilities and the drag and drop. That's going to be a key to very efficient work. All right, and then tip number three is... Pull your 808s in now from your finder or from Splice or wherever directly over um, this tracks area where it says drag audio files here to create instrument tracks. Just drag it in. You're going to open up a, a sampler. You can do a drum machine designer, but the sampler will pitch out your 808 across the keyboard just like FL Studio, just like all these other. I mean, I'm sure Presonus does it with Studio One as well and Ableton. And now Logic has its own drum machine sampler built in, works with the sequencer. It's fast, efficient. You can get drum sounds going, 808s uh, really quick, hi-hat patterns really quick. And um, I'm loving it. 
hope you guys are loving it too. Anyway, if you're loving this video, you're loving all the content on this page, uh, drop a subscribe, show me some likes, some love, comments. Uh, what questions do you want me to answer about Logic? I'm going to do more videos like this, and hopefully they'll be helpful to you. More on production, composition, mixing, mastering in Logic Pro, in Pro Tools. I use both, and uh, I've used FL Studio as well. So just let me know what you want to know, and I'll answer your questions. Thanks again. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you again next, I don't know, maybe tomorrow. Peace.